Welcome back to the Ultra Radical Toy Works channel, everybody. Today we are taking a look at the worst. I've said it before and I will say it again, the worst are the best. Um, these are an action figure line from Super 7, so they're the, in the reaction style, the old school retro throwback style. And uh, I've got two different gas phantoms we're going to be looking at today. So who is the gas phantom? Well, he is an ethereal specter of evil. And it's a character I can really identify with because uh, he's a thick boy who's a little gassy. I've sung the praises of the worst before here on the channel. I really do think it's a unique and interesting and cool line of toys. Just a set of spooky, retro-styled villains. They're amazing. I love the worst. Gas Phantom being my favorite of the, of the bunch. He's pretty spectacular. So this Gas Phantom specifically I had to have because he is in the Kenner Retro Star Wars Greedo color scheme. That's an awkward... Yeah, I just said it. He is in a Greedo homage colorway, and he's amazing. And I did that thing that I do with Super 7, where I buy two, so I have one to keep in pack. And the packaging itself, just that sort of like old school painting sort of look to the artwork on the card, as well as its coffin shaped bubble, this speaks to me on so many different levels. It's an amazing toy. I've had it for quite some time. Uh, it ended up uh, on the back burner, but we're here now and we're looking at Gas Phantom. And I mean, it'd be a shame if we didn't crack this guy open, right? Boom, here he is, looking fresh, looking great, looking fine. And uh, let me tell you, that color matching, oh way, that is, that is more than an homage, my friend. That is, it's the same fucking color. So he's got the five points of articulation you would expect from a figure like this, as well as a clear tube that goes from, I said tube weird, that goes from his gas tank on his back to his pistol, and it looks nice. It looks really nice. Um, it bends and moves well if you're to rotate the arm. It looks good. And the pegs on both the backpack as well as the gun seem pretty sturdy. I have no fear that they are going to snap if this guy takes a dive. I mean, if this guy takes a dive off the shelf like any toy, uh, clench your b-hole. But, uh, clench your bad, Henry. But, uh, I think he'll be fine. I, I'm not too worried about those pegs, which maybe was a concern of mine, um, looking at him in the pack. But now that he's out... He's, look, he's looking great. He's looking fucking spectacular. So this color scheme is the Greedo homage. He looks excellent next to Greedo. I could not get Gas Phantom a buddy, and what better buddy than the exact same toy in a different color scheme? So this guy's got a case of the Baileys. He's pretty creamy. Uh, I love the color scheme of this one as well. I'm glad that my Greedo homage has a coffee with alcohol homage as well. This guy looks great. They both look excellent, and I'm super happy to have these guys. I don't know why I love the worst as much as I do, but I think it's something to do with that sort of retro monster magazine quality to the artwork, the characters themselves being new but somehow familiar, and that I think, like, I find monsters relatable because, you know, I fucking am one. But these guys are spectacular, they're awesome, and they speak to me in a, in a way that appeals to some sort of sense of nostalgia, but being all unique in and of itself. I don't know, it's a weird, interesting, good feeling. It just feels really good to fiddle with this guy, to play with this toy and, uh, and put him on the shelf where he belongs. He can stand next to any monster and, and fit right in. He's just great. Everything about him is spectacular. I say it all the time, the worst are the best, and Gas Phantom is no exception. He is awesome, he's a super cool toy. There's a couple different colorways on on the Super 7 store right now, and I can't be I can't be investing more money into the worst at the moment, but goddamn it makes me wanna. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with your old Peppertino. I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now I'm required to ask people to ring my bell, which sounds fucking creepy. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging. See you later.